everybody, how are you all doing today? Welcome back to uh, the final, I think, uh, pre-travel Japan vlog. I, oh my god, I can never get this right. I do this every time. Welcome to this pre-travel Japaniku 1.5 vlog. I think I got it right this time. So yes, I think this will be the last one I'm going to do about my travel preparations before I go. Doesn't mean that I'm leaving quite yet we still have time but in regards to preparation i think that this is it i want to conclude it in this vlog there might be some elements here and there if there are things that i want to tell you about i'll include them in my instagram stories or in my twitter feed so make sure to follow me on that somewhere here and anyway guys you will know when i'll be in japan exactly even if i don't tell you right now you will know because same as last year i will be uploading some photos to my secondary instagram this one and i'll be sharing a lot of instagram stories on my main instagram this one so make sure you follow me in there if you want to be up to date and if you don't there will be the vlogs when i come back so after once i've rested and recovered from the jet lag because i remember jet lag last year was was a bitch so what do you think of this little background i've been filming all over my flat for the past few weeks and um i haven't filmed here yet but there's no lighting so this i have like this big light right in my face and i hope it looks okay it took me a while to set it up anyway welcome back how are you doing thank you for all your support so far it has been so much fun reading comments it has been a blast unfortunately well we still have a few more weeks with the inktober listings unfortunately i have not made any sales that's a little disappointing more from an artistic point of view than a financial point of view if they're still available you never know what could happen i'll still leave them up there reminder it's the inktober original art pieces on the original paper i drew them on on sale right now on my etsy store almost 40 percent off right now with free international shipping feel free to have a look to favorite the store even if you don't like any pieces of art that are up there right now i will be making some more making some more merch some more projects anything else and then there's the regular red bubble store that will just stay up there's still the art prints from my last japan trip up there there's some t-shirts there's some mugs etc etc you guys know the drill by now i don't like promoting myself but I have to. So I am almost done with my travel preparations. There are still a few things that I have to do that will take me a bit more time, but I am starting to see what my budget will be like. And like I said in my recent tweet, if last year was traveling on a budget, this time is really pushing it, but I know I'll be okay because I'm good at planning this kind of thing. And I'm still crossing my fingers that a few more jobs will come my way so that I can put a little bit more aside. The only downfall it's not a downfall but i'm visiting some family in the uk this month so that is gonna be cutting a little chunk away which does annoy me but family is important i'm sure you guys understand so budget wise with the hostel being booked with the insurances being taken you know like calculating how much i'm going to be spending um daily i'm kind of seeing what kind of activities i'm going to be able to do like i mentioned before i will be staying for the large largest portion of my trip i will be staying around the tokyo area i am still hoping um to do one or two day trips that those are the things i still have to plan those are the loose ends that i still have to do and figure out and see if i can fit it with the budget and i'm still waiting to see if i can like i said get a few more jobs to round everything up and be sure that i can do a day trip or two so still waiting on that but i have started writing down some things that i really really want to do i have really filled this little travel journal up um, i've even started like gluing some little papers like what i really want to do and like writing some random ideas down in my head like i've already mentioned some things to you like some random foods that i've never tried before uh, such as kare such as okonomiyaki such as soft ice for example anyway i've been really writing things down and i've been trying to like prioritize the things that i want to do more i know that food as, as i've mentioned before is really high up there and some things that i'll probably be doing less because i am going there in the winter is maybe visit less gardens um not go to the sky tree this time i wasn't planning on going to the sky tree last time but i ended up up there anyway and it was amazing and i had that i had that experience and i don't necessarily need it again uh this said i do love 
views. It's something that I really, really love. So I will be trying to find some more free views like the metropolitan government building thing. I never say those words in the right order. I hope that was correct. Uh, so like some uh, tourist centers have amazing views. So I've been really looking up good free views in Tokyo. I'm already going a little bit off track, but I am prepared for this video to be a little longer than usual, me talking a lot and having to edit around it. And uh, it's a conclusion anyway. So this video is going to be me talking about the things that I really want to do, like my intentions for this trip. Uh, but first and foremost, my intention for this trip is one, to have fun, to be safe, to be stress-free as much as possible because I know myself, I'm a nervous person, I'm a little bit of a warrior, so as stress-free as can be. Um, and also to film as much as I can, like take photos, film, like take my time to be artsy and creative, even if it means missing out maybe on one or two more things, just to take my time and learn more about taking the right shots and making good vlogs for you guys. So this is like one of my main intentions for this trip. Now there are a lot of little things, things that I want to do personally, some things that are really random, some things that uh, I didn't get to do last time, um, things like that. I'll mention a few of them in a minute. And then, like I said, things that I probably won't be doing as much. Like, uh, I visited a lot of shrines and temples last time and I really loved doing that, but maybe this time be a little more selective about which shrines and temples I visit, because some temples, I mean, they're not expensive, but if you add them up, like 500 yen plus 500 yen plus 500 yen, it does tend to add up if I do visit a few, like, every day. So maybe choose some of them and um, if I stumble across one that I find beautiful, I'll go, you know, things like that. I really need to prioritize this time because of how short the budget is and I'm gonna be repeating that a lot. It doesn't mean like, hey guys, give me money. It means, hey, if you're seeing the vlogs and I'm just like walking around the streets of Tokyo, not doing much and eating food, you know why? It's because I've prioritized and I love food. I really do love food and I want to experience more Japanese food. And I do love Japanese streets. I love the atmosphere and the ambiance and I'm going to be soaking up that as much as possible. Now before I get into the random things I want to do, I've been looking a lot into transportation and one thing you and I have to keep in mind is that this time I do not have a JR pass. So I'm still figuring out how I'm going to be um, moving around Tokyo, day trips excluded, that's still something I need to figure out. And I've been researching so much, like studying the Japanese metro system and all the companies and looking things up and I'm almost seeing what I'm going to do. I will, I think that same as last year, I will make a conclusion video about like how I budgeted, how I prepared, how I chose which transportation I um, I use, but since I'm not sure right now, like a hundred percent, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna uh, like say everything. But I have like this entire, you probably can't see it, this entire page filled with all the different like passes, like uh, tourist passes, like 24-hour passes. There are so many available, and I am trying to pick which one would be the best one. Same thing like going to and from Narita, which which one is like the more convenient with not losing too much time and the rush hour, like there's a lot to take into account. And yes, rambling again, but those are the things I need to take into consideration, like how much am I going to put per day into transportation, in food, in like sightseeing, in buying like random crap, well not crap, that sounds awful, souvenirs and gifts. Like last year, I spent a lot on souvenirs for my family and for my friends. Maybe this year, friends and family, if you're listening to this, maybe don't expect much from me this time. And also, I don't have to buy like a shit ton of Kit Kats because I've already done that experience. So uh, I'm all over the place, but I think you guys understand what I mean. So let's finally talk about the random things that I do want to do on my trip. Like some of the things I want to see, absolutely. Um, Food aside, because we've mentioned food a lot, I'm going to be like gaining probably 10 kilograms from these two weeks, but I don't care. So food aside, things that I really want to do, like the Pokemon Center, you know, you guys know how much I like Pokemon. Um, even though I don't really buy anything because it's really expensive, I love going to the Pokemon Center. I've been to the one in Hiroshima and obviously the one in Ikebukuro. 
I want to see the Pokemon Center again. A random thing that I really like in Japan are vending machines. The, the drink vending machines. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with them, even though they're like three per street over there. I want to try more vending machine drinks. Like maybe do a vending machine drink of the day. Like do -do 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 -do, vending machine drink of the day. Totally giving away the surprise <laughs> if I'm doing that during my vlogs. But I kind of want to do that vending machines and gacha I know gacha is just stuff and I don't like having stuff um, I like having like a clear apartment a clear mind but gacha are so cool I don't know what is wrong with me with the gacha bun I want to do more gacha so that might be happening also like random thing number two gotcha obviously karaoke is still on my mind but i don't want to do that alone so it depends if i meet like travel buddies or anything and uh same with golden guy last year i went to golden guy but i didn't go in because i was alone i didn't feel comfortable and i don't know i still don't know about golden guy but i would like to go for a drink maybe um if i meet any travel buddies hit me up something else that i wrote down is stay calm in crowded places you guys already know, probably, uh, my social anxiety has gotten a little bit worse over the years and um, crowded places, not easy for me. Why am I going to Japan? Because I love Japan. But crowded places is a little bit of a challenge for me. I was okay last time, but I know that some areas that I really wanted to visit had too many people and I just wanted to get the hell out as soon as possible, as fast as possible. Like, uh, Takeshita. Is that how you call it? Takeshitadori? In Harajuku, like the street with all the little uh, shopping stalls that you just, you're just transported by the crowd and there was like, I couldn't stop and look because I was just like too many people, I'm squashed in here, I just want to get the hell out. That was one area. There's another area near Asakusa, I forgot the name, I'll include it here if I remember, but it was like the first day and I didn't expect there to be so many people and just be like transported by the flow of people moving forward and all the people with the different walking rhythms and the getting in the way and the umbrellas it was just too much for me on the first day anyway i want to stay calm in crowded areas so i can experience things a little more yeah anyway i don't think there's a lot more to say you guys already know i've divided my notebook into areas first to first tokyo area then divided into other uh, areas like Ginza and Tsukiji, Ropongi, Akasaka, uh, Ebisu, Meguro, Shibuya and um, if I remember something that I really want to do in that area I've written down like this little note thing I've already started sticking things in here so bad I know this thing is going to be so full by the end of it but for example I wrote down I want to eat conveyor belt sushi again I mean it's conveyor belt sushi it's not like handmade or anything but it was still really cool to have the thing zooming around and you can just eat as much as you want and yeah i had a good experience and i want to do it again what other things did i write oh see it's written right here try shopping at takeshita street um eat manju at higashiyama i don't even remember what that is but i wrote it down see good thing i write things down go to pokemon center uh, go to Don Quixote. I still like Don Quixote. I've been there like a dozen times last time I wrote down like see Godzilla. I saw him from afar the last time, but I want to take more time and see things and It's contradictory because I've written so many things that I want to do But also I want to take more time to do things. So yeah, a little bit of a contradiction there what things I've written down at the end, like expenses, transportation, accommodations, how to get there, <laughs> not getting lost like last time, options to get from Narita Airport to where I'm going to be staying, and then yeah, other areas, Kamakura, for example, Yokohama, those are areas I'm still figuring out if I'm going to be able to go there or not. So yeah, I started out so organized in my head and now I feel like this video is already all over the place. But those are like some of the things, the little things, the bigger things that I want to do on my trip, which is coming up so soon. I don't feel the stress quite yet, but I'm, I'm feeling that it's coming and the closer I'm going to get to it, I'm going to be like, oh my god, this is happening. I'm going back to Japan on my own. This little shy girl is going back to this big country on the other side of the world by herself. I'm, I'm starting to feel like a little bit of stress and the excitement, but yeah, 
it's coming up real soon um thank you for those who came to hang out with me on my live streams on twitch had some fun talking about some things for the trip that was really cool um we did end up talking about me maybe getting a tattoo in japan but i have a feeling it's not going to be like uh, i want to so bad you know like a small tattoo but I'm, i'm expecting it to be like much more expensive in japan than it is here because tattoo in japan is like a whole other thing but if the opportunity comes along if there are any japanese tattoo artists in tokyo watching this i don't think so but if it would be so cool like i could get a pikachu tattoo like a tiny pikachu tattoo wouldn't that be freaking amazing but yeah again it's like kind of a dream but we did mention that on the stream it was oh my god <laughs> i got so excited when the idea was mentioned but now that i have a few days behind i'm like i really want to but i don't know if that's going to be an option for me <laughs> so um i'm gonna call it here there probably will still be videos coming out i hope come on future iku get to work make some more videos but not japan related ones i hope you'll enjoy them nonetheless hopefully fingers crossed uh but be sure that i will be in tokyo very soon and when i get back there will be vlogs hopefully like touch wood um uh, that <laughs> nothing stressful happens that my camera survives i won't be unfortunately buying batteries and sd cards and the microphone thing as mentioned because like the budget is done i think i cannot afford to spend anything else right now so yeah 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 everything's gonna be fine breathe everything's gonna be cool everything's gonna be fun that's what i was saying when i get back from japan that will be japaniku 1.5 series of vlogs so excited to create that for you uh but one thing at a time right now i need to go pack and prepare for my trip to the uk to see my family which i haven't seen in a very long time so first things first and then 